met a guy in prison. Maybe he was on Omegle, because they didn't have like Wi-Fi and stuff in there. Oh. You stupid! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love it when they be snitching on their own? Not the same, that's Play not the, the same. Play in the house, we can't do that! Oh, hey. We can't do that! <laughs> what? It's not like this! Hey guys, so it's just me today on Pillow Talk. Yeah, you wish. You wait. Hold on, I'm taking off my. I'm taking. Ow! Wow. That's what I get. Why are you blaming me? Because I hit myself because you try to start without me. No. You try to start without me, so I try to get in really quick and I hit myself. It's your fault. Whose fault was it? <laughs> That's it, man. <right> <laughs> what guys, up, guys? Welcome, welcome back, back to another, another episode of. Episode of Pillow Talk. You always do the intro, you by... and I never get to do it. You, I just get left behind. That's Cap. The, the first stuff. episode we did, I was complaining because you did it by yourself. What are you talking about, Cap? We well, here on Willow, Willow, Willow. That's <laughs> why you don't do the intro. Our pillow talk brought to you by World Star. Let's <laughs> get it, man. Go ahead, okay, read the first one. Read. Yeah. Hi guys. So I had a relationship that lasted six months. Ooh. That was quick. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> we just recently broke up. He was really good to me, and I thought he was my forever. Ooh. Gradually. Damn, you thought it's forever? It only lasted six, six months? months. Ain't that crazy? No, only lasted Gradually, six months. Gradually, during our relationship, I found out he was a drug trafficker. Ooh, get to the bag, boy. We snitching though. This is allegedly. Allegedly, I tried not to get discouraged. I had high hopes, but in the six months we lived together, he never helped out with any bills, Damn. rent, utilities, groceries, or nothing. I know why. I don't okay, know. so he wasn't really a good drug trafficker. Because you ain't getting no money, he bro. Was, no, no. He wasn't good at his job. He could have been a, he could have worked in a pharmacy. Okay, okay. That type of drugs. Yeah. Pharmaceutical. Pharmaceutical. Okay. Uh, he never took me out to dinner, a movie, or anything nice. We only hung out with his friends every day. That sounds lit. I, I wrote this one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that okay. Uh, still, I tried not to get discouraged. Okay. Then I went on vacation for two weeks to visit family, and I found out he hung out with a girl he hooked up with for the whole two weeks. So I leave to go on vacation to see my family, and you out here bringing a girl to chill for two weeks? Yo, man, they be having audacity. <laughs> it be the audacity, bro. And he never told me. I found out because his son told me. Shout out to the son. <laughs> Don't you love it when they be snitching on their own? They be looking at. Ooh. Yo, I want to be so like uh, biased for this one. What do you call it? Boy. I want to be on his side, but he's messing me Yo. up right now. I'm just here smiling. Like I'm hurting and I need someone to tell me that I did the right thing breaking up with him. Girl, I'm here to tell you. You did the right thing by breaking up with him. You know why? You said it yourself. He ain't taking you out on dates. He ain't he ain't communicating. All he want to do is chill with his boys. And the minute you leave, he come out here and chill with another girl. And the only reason you know is because his own son? Get him out of here. And it only took six months, right? Six months. Six months to show up. I'm not, the first I'm not six even going to lie you, we wilder. The first six months, this yeah, motherfucker out. was the best. Now, we went now, he you get trash for now. After two years of something. After two years, then you show your true colors yeah, about how you lazy yeah, yeah. and don't want to do shit. So she dodged the bullet. Yo. What if he works backwards and you dot? No, you get back no, with no, him. no. He don't no. do that for the first six months. He does it after he, the two he, years. He try to see if he's staying for the long haul. Yeah. Get him out of here. Bring him back. Get him out. No. <laughs> <laughs> why, why do you think women? Well, not just women, people. Uh huh. Want reassurance and the yeah. Decisions they meanwhile, make. they saying everything that's terrible. Why? Yeah, yeah. Why? You, we don't know, right? Was, I just. So, why do you think? Write so, that in the comments. So, uh, you know, yeah. Write that in the comments. Write that in the comments. I, I think it's just you why know. Do you, what, write that in the, why, why do you think? Write that in the comments. <laughs> I'm gonna read number two. No, number two is type long. Charlie needs some good advice. Oh I have nobody. Yes, slow down, bro. Oh, I sounded like Eminem. Charlie needs some good advice. I have nobody. I can. You can't read that fast. I literally read those words. So I really need some. Yeah, I can't read that fast. <laughs> I was. I've been dumb. My eyes. So I really need some good advice. I have nobody to go to. Truth be heard. Two B H. Don't worry. You got us right here. You got us. We're gonna hear you. To be honest, I always say truth be heard, and I think it's to be honest, even though it means the same thing. Mm -hmm. Truth be heard. You heard us from New York, and shit has me lost. 
I've been dating this girl for two years now. At the beginning of our relationship, I noticed some dude being too friendly. Okay, okay, that could be in your head though. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna play it out. I'm gonna hear, I'm gonna hear for the rest of it. But uh, we don't trust the too friendly dudes. No. Oh yeah, but we don't but trust when a girl says she don't trust the too friendly girl, y'all be like, nah, that's whatever. She's Gucci. Yeah, she's Gucci. You hear that? So I called her out on it. She said it was nothing. I called her out on it. She said it was nothing. Fast forward two years. This past October, I found out she's cheating on me with the same dude that supposedly her ex from 10 years ago. And that supposed... So the guy's her ex from 10 years ago. Damn, he didn't know so that. So it was just... Side. It was just a... Was so in the beginning, side. it was just a, a dude that was too friendly. He ends up, <laughs> he ends up cheating. He ends and he up finds out she that. dated him 10 years. How old are you guys? And she kicks me out. <laughs> Since I moved to Where's her estate, where she at? Where's she at? <laughs> Since I moved to her estate back in with my mom, I don't know. I'm a little confused. There's no, there's not a lot of periods and stuff. Okay. That's like me. I'd just be guessing where periods go. I don't even be knowing. <laughs> the next day, she comes to visit me. Says she wants me back. Okay. So me being in love, oh. I go back. Okay. Idiot. Mm, oh well. Stupid. He wrote that in there. Just added in there. No. So <laughs> okay. I'm reassuring him. No, he's so like I don't. Whatever advice he's asking for at the end, he already knows that I'm gonna disagree with him <laughs> by the middle. He. I don't even know if it was a he. Say they then. So me being in love, I go back. Two days go by, and she says she wants me back out. <laughs> so she took. <laughs> ah! Yo, this is crazy. I'm sorry, Wait, bro. This is crazy. I'm sorry. This is my favorite one. You're my favorite person ever. Because <laughs> uh, she's trying to get back with this other dude. Already. So I pack up. I'm on my way out. I'm not even five minutes later. She calls me crying saying, this is, is not what she wants. And she wants me to come back. So I did. We can't do this. Wait. We can't do this. <laughs> Wait, so I did. Uh, next weekend, we visit my family in another state. We're chilling. So he's back with her. Mm-hmm. And I see she's texting him, but still saying there's nothing and she's trying to break it off, but she deletes all the messages. Oh, so, so fast forward. Oh, hello, I gotta keep this. So, cause this, this still a couple. So fast forward to now, two months later so far, mm -hmm. from what I've known, we've been good on her end. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure what I feel anymore. I'm not sure what to do. I love this girl clearly, but it's hard to forgive and forget. I've been causing arguments because of what she said. Mm -hmm. She said she's trying to fix things, but I don't feel the love like I used to. I even told her this. I tried doing what she said, doing what she did, and cheat. Okay, I'm gonna start all over. I even told her this. I'm gonna just comment it right there. I tried doing what she did and cheat. Not actually try and be with a person after though, but I couldn't even get. Okay, so. Okay, if, so he tried to talk to this somebody person, else. We don't know. He tried uh, to cheat back. He tried to, yeah. And he couldn't do it. Uh huh. Okay. Because that was messing me up. He couldn't even get. Because I love her and it. I wouldn't disrespect her. Okay. So I guess I'm looking for advice either how to handle this or what you guys would have done in this situation because I feel so lost right now. Wait. Sad emoji. Okay. Uh. Okay. I want to go first. Go ahead. You stupid. Oh my god. You're dumb. <laughs> now, for real, which you, you took this person back. So already at this point. What? You just say. If the if the girl is trying to work it out and she's being honest and he took he went back. Yeah, okay. Three times in a week, you gotta forgive that on your own. And if you can't, then you should keep it moving. Yeah. But that's solely it's, on you. She okay. messed up already. You took her back. Okay. To understand that you need space out of the situation. Yeah. You don't trust her you because don't. of the past, and that's all right. You that's need fine. to stay in a relationship because you want to move forward. Maybe what you need to move forward is it's space. Some space to you know think clearly. clearly. Get it. You know, she hurt you, and you was entitled for that because she lied. She was out Multiple here trifling, and she. She, she, was was doing, being a hoe. she was doing some bipolar stuff, you know, going, kicking saying she was out. kicking you out. Kick, this motherfucker right here, I kick out he kicked me out, and I'll be like, don't do that, bro. First of all, this is my house. Talk. I don't give a fuck, you I know? I don't kick her out. So, uh, for me, for me, it's people clearly, kicking people out, like, here. clearly, like, yeah, yeah, I'm still here right now, but wait wait till I get my apartment, and then you can't kick me out no more. I don't kick you out. You stay. Yeah, but the, because of because of me. But what if I actually listened to you and left? I be oh, so I be like I need she be like oh da, da 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 I'm tired of this so leave that's me kicking her out so dip <laughs> you tired of this all so leave what you want to stay here for yeah. that's me kicking her out what she saying I kicked her either out. way either way you've been hurt and you are entitled to space a hundred percent period. Is that is that was that was that that was helpful for you? I think so. so make it that sure was I'm helpful. Close. I say, you know, I called you stupid a hundred times, but because you went back, but you're already back. Um, you made your choice already. So either you get over it 
Or you just move on. Okay, so I've been technically single for two years. Technically single. That already started bad. I don't know what technically. <laughs> I was in a relationship for eight years. I met a guy in prison. How you met a guy in prison? Don't know. She went to go see. Maybe he was like no. Maybe he was on Omegle because they be having like Wi-Fi and stuff in there. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, Instagram maybe. Yes, crazy shit. Okay. Um, we've been talking for a year now, and all I can say I is our communication is on point. Obviously. He has time to talk, but I do feel like he's different. I've tried to date guys, but I do feel like nowadays they have a horrible communication. And they do. And not just men, though. Women as well. People. 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 People have horrible communication skills. Horrible. So I took the chance with him because the conversations we both have with each other is on point. Fire. Yes, I've gone to see him a couple times Let's now. Let's go. Now you've seen him in person. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. So the advice that I need is if should I continue? Of course. I only ask because I've literally met his family, which I knew of them because of his close friends mm -hmm. and whatever. But now I feel like it's getting more serious. Get it serious. One, because the family invited me to his oldest sister wedding, which I'm still debating about going because go. one, he's still locked up. Don't go. And two, I would feel more comfortable with him being there. Of course. And the wedding is in Dominican. Dominican Republic. Oh, so what that means? What should I do? Yeah. And yes, he's paying for everything. Oh. What are you talking about, sis? I mean, it is uncomfortable going it. to a family where the guys, I never even. Maybe you could FaceTime him while you're there so that he He's in jail. Him. What do you mean, FaceTime? How they been communicating? I don't think they get damage time on the phone that you got You said they be on Amigo. No, I was just a joke. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time that they there, he's in jail. Uh -huh. I, it's in the auto. Yeah, it, I don't know. I say this is my advice. Uh huh. What's your advice? I I think they should keep talking if you enjoy yeah, it. You, you yeah. Communication. Whatever happens after, that's later on. You figure it out later. Right now, it's he seems up. like he's serious about you. <laughs> right now. I wish you told us how long he's in jail too for. Yeah, because now I'm like, yo. Because <laughs> like, girl, you know, this he's in there for twenty this is, life. This, is, this is what I say to do, right? What? I say before the wedding, because I don't know how far it is. Maybe it's tomorrow. You try to get to know the family more so you're not uncomfortable mm. when you're there. So you pick like a cousin or a brother or a sister to try to, you know, mingle with. So when you're there, you have somebody Bro, there with you. Or I ask if you can bring a plus one. So yeah, see if you can bring your friend. But yeah. it's a wedding though. So usually this like, you know. I like it. I enjoy this. We did that. <laughs> Eyes is beautiful to me. Yeah, don't block your blessings. Don't block. Just because you think it, you get it. Don't you swim in that soup. Okay. That was close. It's don't swim in that water. Don't swim in that pond. Yeah, there you go. So, I, li I like it. You got anything else to say? I don't. I thought that was really good advice on your end. I thought that was. But, I mean, like, this is what I do. I don't know if you saw the last video. The whole comment is... Oh, yeah? Yeah. I wonder why. Me too. Not because you sent them over there and told no, them. Okay. okay. So, this is the session where we stop reading questions. We don't have a phone call today. But we are going to do the... Who's bugging? Who's bugging? Who's bugging? Who is bugging? I'm going to explain this story because okay. you got to explain. Oh, oh, I, did I, explain? I, I don't remember, that. right? So we have a terrace, right? Mm -hmm. It's winter. Mm -hmm. We live in New York. Mm -hmm. We have a terrace that we do not use because it's cold. Mm -hmm. Maletti the other day is shoveling. Yeah. The terrace that we don't use mm -hmm. because it's cold. Mm -hmm. And she bangs on the window, looks at me, and she's like, oh, thanks for helping. I'm not gonna lie, I'm here like, you, that's something you want to do. If it's something we need it done, I'd help you. But you want to shovel a terrace that we do not use. So I'm on my own? So you're on your own. That's something you want to do. See, I feel like that was I like feel, a hobby. I she was like, bored, she wanted to shovel. I feel that's like if I'm doing something, some, I want a partner. So help me in everything that I'm doing. I'm not doing that. Laundry, cleaning the that's bathroom, not the same. That's cleaning not the, the same. house, shoveling snow. And no, it's not. it wasn't like a task that needed to be done. But the snow out there is slippery and it's a mess. We don't and go I'm out like, there. I, you speak for yourself. You don't go, go out on the outside. Out. I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. The only time you went out there was to do what? Play in the snow. <laughs> Play in the snow. Damn. Then she ended up shoveling it. Well, let us know who is bugging. Uh -oh. That's my that's my dog, Mickey, chicken middle. Matter of fact, don't even answer that question. Let us know if we should get this checked out. Oh my god. Because Wait, he has an appointment. 
You either know? way, either way, you were supposed to help me. It, point blank, period. Who's who's bugging? I'm over here doing omelet, but when you the strong one, you could have shoveled that snow in like ten minutes with how broad you got. Look at all this ad. You used to be talking like you tough and all this until you did it. She did it anyway. So yeah, I, I did it because that's what my mama taught me to be independent and you do not rely on a man because if I relied on him, that would have never got shoveled. And look how beautiful it looked now. Hey, if she would have me and never got shoveled, then guess what? It wouldn't have mattered because it would have just melted. Because why? We don't go out there and it melts. That's what snow does. Let us know who is who bugging. Who is bugging in the and comments. And if you want relationship advice, email pillow talk at world, hip hop world star. No, that's not it, Brandy. That's exactly why you don't do it. That's <laughs> it. Email us at pillow talk at worldstarhiphop.com. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. This is Pillow Talk, and we out.